So three, two, one. Hello, Philip. How are you? Oh, I'm absolutely great, Leo. <laughs> nice to see you. It's such a pleasure. No, how how are you doing in Liechtenstein these days? Uh, yeah. No, I mean, Leon, if we look back on the last 12 weeks, it's unbelievable what changed from when we started, where I where I was really kind of coming out of a hole I needed. So for me, these 12 weeks were really life transforming, I must say. It. And this is really unbelievable. I, I went, I think it was so good to go through this crisis because you gave me always a new tool to work and this new tool brought me a step further. So, so for that, I'm really thankful, Leon. It's and, and it's really you. It's I, I I really appreciate your inputs and your your talks, but also what you did behind the scenes, the work you prepared for us, for all the people who were part of this. Thank you very much. That that's I, really. I, I, I really, I'm really happy to hear this. Because so, again, when we, when you started with us like three months ago, more or less, you run uh, like a company that is has a has a good size. Tell us a lot about it, and what was the the personal uh, problems or performance pitfalls you wanted to to solve oh, back then? Okay, so basically, the the thing is, we 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 are a company already. Now this company here is uh, now. 14 years old so I'm 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 a senior guy in the business and and we are selling to the European semiconductor market spare parts so it's consumable parts and and I had the feeling yeah everything is going but it's not going it's not the uh, coming from my input is coming from the market so I was out of the you know I was not leading the company that I was led by by some coincidence it, I was not under control of the stuff so that that made me to think okay I'm I'm working but I'm not really working what I wanted to say is I had not no control over my day it was just coming and I did what was necessary but it was not driven by me and and I, I had the feeling I'm not an entrepreneur I'm a, a taker of the business orders uh, but that's not an entrepreneur and that feeling was deep got it and, and that's why I resonated with with when you showed me what you are doing Got it. So it was essentially a, a performance problem and you could not get the results you wanted because something inside of you did prevent you from doing so. And and what did you learn throughout? Because we, we're running three month cycles. So what did you learn and what was the biggest takeaway on the personal side? How that reflected on the professional side? I mean, the very, very first week, the thing what I was, what was really very, very helpful for me was your input about how much your brain can even uh, take per day. You know, we have just a certain capacity and and I was spending most of my capacity out of work. I was reading what's happening in the world and not what's happening in my business and in my life. So, so one thing in the first week I stopped just anything concerning web and social media yeah so this freed me up two three hours a day which was which i didn't realize before and in the beginning i think it's very hard what should i do now with this <laughs> but of course working with you you are not you're giving enough stuff. <laughs> my role is to push you my role is to take you to the next level exactly so that's what you did of course got it got it and and how has your your personal so how do you feel now because again you have like such a big business because changes take a lot of time but how do you feel you have affected your performance in business how much i don't know you tell me more focus more so, so basically i i would say from from a part-time visitor of the business even being here eight hours a day or ten hours whatever 
I'm now contributing to the business and I see that I'm contributed. People feel I'm much more focused and much more uh, bringing results in again. So, so it's kind of going back to my starting time when I was beginning with the company where I, where I was completely alone and I had to build it up. And now I'm seeing, okay, I'm important for this company. I can bring, I contribute, I bring results, I talk differently. So I, I really transformed in these last 12 weeks. Now. That's absolutely fantastic. And that has been through the, the content mostly or the sessions or the or the dashboard. So, so the content was super important to understand. And I have to say very often with the talks with you, then not even during the talks, but later. And, and that was why so the weekends were important for me because very often then the stuff clicked. There's a feedback click. loop. It's, it didn't click while I was listening. It didn't click while I was talking to you. So I was, I had up, especially in the beginning, I had the feeling I'm completely lost. It's so much information you give to us in such short time. I had a very hard time to process because like everyone else i'm working then still but but then i started to implement and i have to say the most learning happened in the time when it was free because then i had time to reflect so i think this free time is important for me that, you know just but that's that's what you just described is exactly how performance work because as, as you know now athletes um they do not get their gains when they are training. They get the gains when they're resting. So the modern knowledge worker slash entrepreneur professional does not rest enough. And therefore, the brain is compromised, cannot really fix the new information. And nothing happens because they're overexcited, underrested, and just things don't click because there's nothing to click them on. So what you just described is essentially you're turning into a business athlete. And, and that was something that I had a very hard time in the beginning because I told you I was a I was a sports athlete and and I couldn't make this transformation to a business athlete. And I think with your protocols and and also with the protocols at home, it, it makes you whole whole as a person, mm -hmm. and, and and this gives you the energy to. To what? So to learn more, I want to learn more now. I have energy to learn more, and, and I sleep. And, and, and the other topic, this little finger is this the little aura. ring. <laughs> it's not to be married with you. It's but this <laughs> ring is really a very cool tool. I must say, it was good that you pushed me to buy it. it yes, a very, it's a very important tool for my for my. Yeah, it's the base. The sleep is the base for the rest. Yes, yes. Because, I mean, your decisions, your ability to understand, to plan, to even be a leader in a business, everything is affected by the quality of sleep. And and be, tell me about the, the self-awareness. Because I remember that we've been discussing this, that the most important thing, the thing we start always on, is to raise people's self-awareness, provide a systems view of the world, so that every problem, whatever problem that might be, it doesn't matter how hard it may seem to solve it, it becomes figure outable because now you the only thing you need to do is to figure out what system is not working and make it work. So walk us a little bit through it. How did you incorporate that and how that changed? So so that that was a especially during my crisis. I mean, what is important to know, I when I started with working with you, I went through a major crisis. I really was afraid everything will collapse. The business will collapse. My life will collapse. So, so, it, so basically, I think without going through the program, it wouldn't push me. You know, I, I think you, the, your, your high, how, is, how, how do I say this? This demand where I had the feeling I cannot handle it, additional to what I'm learning here, and I could see there was this gap between my life and the reality and, and what is kind of possible and what you're living. Mm -hmm. This gap stressed me and this stress pushed me kind of over my limit. And this made me to say, okay, what do I really want in my life? Do I want to live like this always? 
with fear, with with anxiousness, and and, and it, this 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 triggered some processes which I would not do without going through this program. So I think this was one of the. This helped me also then later to 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 reflect about stuff. In the beginning, I was not able to reflect. I must say, I was just hoping to go through the program and make it at work and, and, and try to survive in the company, in my own company. And I was overwhelmed. And then late and suddenly there was this step, okay, now, now I, I have distance, mm -hmm. distance to me. And that gave me chance to reflect and, and, and find myself again. Got so, it. So this was, I think this, this without the program, I would maybe just move on like before and not, not make this jump. And I think this pain was important. I mean, the, the, the pain is, is essentially what triggers, what triggers the adaptation. That's, yeah. that's how biologically, how, how, how it works. You have a resistance and that resistance is signaling the area of growth. But in your case, what's really, really interesting is that um, there were this, let's say, highly emotional states that preventing you from being from performing. Product, you were not productive or not productive enough. You didn't have enough focus to drive the business forward. And it was also some sort of identity crisis in the sense of, listen, I, I need to figure this thing out or otherwise I'm not really an entrepreneur, even though I have like a very big business, eight million a year, but it just, just doesn't work. So, so very interesting because you get an identity update and everything cascades from that. Doesn't it? That that's a very good point. Actually, you're right. This this identity update was so because in the beginning, you know, you have your ten year vision and 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 your identity, and I couldn't connect there. I I couldn't connect. I said, okay, I'm not here. I'm not. I'm, I'm far away of being anyone. I uh, and 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 I think you know it. It doesn't matter if it's the business is big or small or medium, because at the end, it's all coming from here. It doesn't matter how big or small you are. And, and that, I, I, I think that again, working with you was to find my own identity again. Of course. To, I mean, yes, it's, it's, to find, it's to find the spirit, but it's also creating something and then reverting it back to the present so you know that there's a way you just need to follow. Right? So it's 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 something that is continuously in motion. Yeah. And that's performance. Because what served yesterday may not serve tomorrow, but you have the you have the mind now. Now you can see what you could not see, so you can create what you could create now uh, before. Yeah. So 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 that was Again, if I look back these 10 weeks, it's unbelievable. The quantity of information and, and this is all, you know, it's not like I just believed you, Leon. First of all, I was also checking, okay, what is it telling me? Is that true? And, and when you go to the, and you find that the experts, at the end, you are bringing the sense of these experts to us in a, in a manner which, we don't need to do the research. You did it already for us. So, yes. so and, and I believe you did hundreds of hours, and 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 that's so. So basically, you are at at the edge of, of at the front row of almost every research concerning performance, and that's that's the, the other part from your side. No, definitely, because which... that's. Yeah, I mean, if you look, because one of the things that most people think is that they can solve this problem by themselves, by watching videos on YouTube or reading books. And, and the, the truth is that most of what has been published for the general public is not replicable, is not useful. And most on YouTube is essentially gamified for growth. So it's just probably omissions of the truth that do not help um, the truth, the scientific truth. So, and not only that, imagine that you're truly able to find the perfect information. How do you structure that in a framework? That is what we have done. 
right? No, that's true. Uh, absolutely true. Because that's that, that, and as I told you, I, I I think I read many many books about management and 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 about I I I went to schools for management and and you know your little and, and I want to mention this. <laughs> this little business operation system that's really for me this is it, it is every day on my desk i look at it and okay what it's really well valuable for me and and i think this like you said it it's a 45 minute lesson and it's like an mba and, and it is 100% coming together with ISO again. So, because my next topic now, we have this ISO audit in a few weeks, and we had last week the audit from my internal auditor, but still, I showed her this, and she said, oh, wow, this is unbelievable, this is great, but all ISO is showing exactly the same. So I was not aware of this. That I didn't ISO, know. Yeah, I didn't know either. So, so it's it's it goes well together. Goes absolutely together. And 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 then I showed her the dashboard, and she was really impressed about these key results because ISO you want to have in ISO you want to have a system and you want to have results. That's what counts. And mm -hmm. and so 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 the stuff. I mean, and also the other very. I mean, where you really. When we started to work together, I mean, I'm a very, very big fan of theory of constraints, but I was coming more from the production side and looking at the constraint and how to elevate it. But then when you showed me, oh no, it's the whole system have constraints. And if you elevate in the different system, let's say in marketing or in sales, the sales, the constraint, you lift the whole system. The system itself that so so it was not hard for me to understand it just made click again and and i like these click moments <laughs> i mean totally so the good thing about what we teach is um that is like an operating system that it, it sits on top of the traditional management oh. knowledge right so you've, you've read a lot of management books you may do an mba you've been in business for years all of that is very valuable but once you get the systematic understanding of how everything feels together, that's when you can extract the most value. Mm -hmm. The it problem is, is that systems are not taught because it is a quite a modern science. It's been 40 years around. And most of the actual, the, the science is complexity science. It goes against the current scientific paradigm. So there's not much money on that research. Not many people are focused on that. So they there's just no nothing to discuss right so and what, what i've done is because i'm really passionate about it and I, I put that into management and personal operations and that's when things start clicking and, and i think where you what what your methodology is nice is coming to your i mean at the end it's it's the work i do today that is what counts it's not the plan I have for the 10 years, it's the work I do today. And of course, it's all connected, mm -hmm. but but it's kind of, so, so you know, sometimes I was also in these last 12 weeks not motivated. And then I, I came to work and I'm kind of coming in the old, to be old Philip again and say, oh, <laughs> Okay, but but then I said, okay, no, I'm here today to make my day better than yesterday, and 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 this concept, okay, let's get better than what we did were how we were yesterday, and, and this is sticking in your brain. I mean, when you work with you, it's like, okay, let's get a little bit better today, just a bit, and that was very important to motivate myself. Totally, because. You have a dashboard, so you know if you're improving or not. You have the data, so it's it's very easy. Can you map it out? Are you are you actually improving? Because that's what that's one of the things that when I first started this business back in Spain, it's all about like people were not measuring, and that happens a lot with self development, right? You try to self develop yourself, you try to do performance, but then how do you know you're improving? What are what is the data? Nobody uses data, only us. Because that's what you need to make sure you're not fooling yourself. It's very easy to fool oneself. There's a thousand law of attraction coaches out there. 
but law of attraction doesn't work because and also because it cannot be tracked. Right. So I like this is one of a pet peeve of mine is let's be real, let's use the science, let's use the data and just take one step at a time. And you see how everything starts snowballing very fast. But again, Leon, one thing I am I really must say, I, I'm like in my whole life there is one pattern. I'm late with everything. <laughs> now I'm late also to improve. But what I see see now kind of you know. You you teach me after I think was it after five weeks in my case or six weeks the dashboard not after normally you do it after four weeks mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. I was again late because we had another topic first mm -hmm. you pulled one other topic first and and I had a very hard time with the dashboard in the beginning and then actually I think I start to understand now. The dashboard. So, so again, I'm I'm late <laughs> to you. other to other students. So, but okay, I have to live with my weakness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but since you're gonna be getting four times more of any given year than the average person, because one three months working with this dashboard is like one year from someone else, or even more, you're not late. Where I can see already the difference is if I work, you know, that's the part where I'm seeing, okay, um, I watch my colleagues, which work with me and for me, of course. And so, so when I compare what they do a day, and, and this is a little bit hard as a boss now, because mm -hmm. <laughs> you see that you are, Pushing, pushing, pushing. I mean, you have your infant sessions, you finish something, you, then you do the next and you push and you do the next and you push. So you get things done, that's for sure. And, and then you are kind of also demanding other people to get things done. And, and they don't know what I know. <laughs> and I didn't show them what I'm doing and I didn't teach them what I'm doing. So. So basically that is kind of, you see the difference between someone who performs and someone who doesn't perform. You see it very, very well. You see someone who is good in excuses and someone who is good in performing without that they know what I know. Because you need data for that. That's a good thing. Like the numbers don't lie. You know that you have accomplished seven tasks in half the time you would never, you would do it otherwise. You do now more in one way than you did a month before. And you have the data, you have the receipts, you've seen the stuff. So it's like, okay. And people notice, right? People have noticed. What they see, I bring, I, I finish stuff. It's not just I talk about things, I, I really get things done. Finish. Boom. Next. <laughs> and, and of course, I don't do everything. Leon, I'm I'm delegating. Of course, outsource. you're you're the CEO. Of course, makes total sense. No, no, but also to outsource. I okay. bring it to Upwork. I bring it there. I bring it there. I bring it to the students. So, of course, but of course, but, but the thinking has been done for me. Of course, you CEO. That's the point. Who do you think this program is best for? What kind of profile? Someone who is starting out. Someone who might want to get to the next level. What are your thoughts about that? So maybe someone who starts out, it's hard to reflect, you know, to really understand what's going on. Because it would be good to know before you start, but you don't have, you don't understand what's going on. You know what I mean? It's like, okay. Um, but if someone worked two or three years already in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a position, in a in a certain leadership position who who already has some experience he knows that that time is a problem he knows that so, so i think it, it's the people who who not the, the complete beginners it's probably too much mm -hmm. so but someone's been around two three years and knows skills and business but they just don't know how to perform at a, at a lead level and, and, and the guys like me, me I, because I'm the guys like me who are over 25 years doing business, mm -hmm. it's very rare that someone is willing to change. 
So, so I'm thinking there I'm a little bit special also. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your transformation has been incredible. Uh, but it's again, but it's performance. We are unleashing potential. You had it. Now we need to structure it, organize it, and just unlock it. It's not like we're teaching new tricks. We are reminding you of how the brain works when you do not prevent it from working the, the way it should. Yeah, so mm -hmm. yeah, I think your your people are the guys, the guys who worked already and who know they want to make their progress. They want to make their career. That's the people you you who should work with you. Yeah, I totally agree. And what last question? What would you say to someone who is uh, on the fence about joining? Just I I mean, talk to guys like me. And I can only say, do it. It's it's probably the best investment you can do for yourself. You get, it, you know, you were asking me about an ROI. I cannot give you an ROI, but I see long term there will be an ROI. Not because my business is not a very fast business. Again, like mm -hmm. I'm slow, my business is slow. <laughs> Your business is very big. That's the thing. <laughs> Yeah, right? and very big is all relative, Leon. It's all relative. True. I, because if I I was I got yesterday this book from this Dutch guy from from of upscale. Mm -hmm. It's so business is relative big. All is yeah, relative. but what what revenue level are you at now, yearly? So we we sell for about seven eight million a year. Euro. Yeah, or in Swiss franc. Yeah, euro. Right. And now it's all the same. All is true. That's true. <laughs> the euro is really a friend of mine. I have to say, I want to kill this euro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Leo. I mean, it's really unbelievable. We pay everything in Swiss francs, but we can make the in income in euros. It was a month ago, ten percent higher. I mean, I need to now grow 10% just to keep the same level again. Damn. We need to perform. And yeah, and, 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 and in an environment where everyone thinks there is a recession coming, it's you, you have to perform. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I mean, You're in I the mean, best program in the world to do it. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, but if someone, if you have anyone who is not sure and if he wants to speak to someone and you, you're you trusting me that I can give a, be, I can be a reference, tell, send them to me. Got it. Dude, I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. You've been one of the best clients. We have, I mean, I think it's a privilege to have you in the community and because, again, you're alumni now <laughs> and we'd love to have you there. And uh, now it's all about setting the new roadmaps, the new protocols, and getting to a new level and accelerating. We need to bridge that 10% gap between Swiss franc and euro, and we're going to do that together. All right. It was a pleasure, Philip. Thank you very much for your time.